What's up, y'all? Welcome to Mommy Needs a Break because some mommies need breaks like us. This is a podcast for all you mommies out there who don't have it together because we don't have it together. Okay, I'm Megan Thomas at Meg Scoop all over the internet. And who are you, Marisa? I am. Who am I, Marisa? <laughs> yeah. I wanted to say that. I'm Marisa Johnson. You can find me at She Is Marisa J on Instagram. And make sure you follow our podcast at MNAB Podcast. Mommy Needs a Break if for the those of y'all who don't have your mentals together like me today <laughs> yeah mnab podcast and we have a great guest today we're so excited for her hello okay, she's a mom she's a wife she's a vegan chef her page is amazing she author makes one of you. oh author, author yes author, yeah. i need to include that everything y'all give it up for janae claymore <laughs> thank you for joining us thank you for having me like you're just when i look on your page on instagram i'll be like oh i need to make that oh i need to make Ooh, that oh, i need to make that and then i don't make it oh <laughs> but I didn't mean it to today because it looks so good. When I have more time, I'll make it for you. Oh, yes. Oh, mm-hmm. Don't tell me like that. When you, I was literally. When she, text, she texted like, I, I, we're great taste testers. I was like, that's great. Mm. But I haven't even fed myself. So, I mean, I would oh, like gosh. to cook for y'all. I know. When I have a little bit more time. I, I would think like someone who is a food blogger would always have food in the house. No. Really? Like they don't. No? Yeah, no. I feel no. like you wouldn't. Who eats it? Last. Well, my husband is oh. hungry. Look, I make something. I'm like, this is eight serving. <laughs> If it were just me, yeah, yeah, I mean, it would literally last eight servings. But him, no. It lasts maybe two. (laughs) That's funny. Maybe, if I'm lucky. And then then you just had a baby. How old is she now? Four months. What's her name? Georgie. Oh. I love that. She's a sweetie. So sweet. I know. (laughs) Girl. Wait, have you been getting sleep yet? Yes. Ooh, yay. Yeah. For you. Go ahead, Georgie. So what, I'm in, uh, yeah, she's pretty good. So like, I'm in the bed like 12 hours though. Uh, because okay. that's how long it takes me to get like seven hours, maybe <laughs> yeah, eight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But where you know I'm awake for a good chunk of that time, unfortunately. But I still think she's doing a great job. That is. Wait, how long Not does she bad. sleep for? Like she'll sleep for her first chunk. She'll sleep like four hours. Last okay. night we put it a bit a little earlier because yeah. she was having a little tantrum. She slept for I think. Oh my gosh, she slept I think seven hours. That is awesome. Yes. Wow. Girl, That's, can we can right. we say babies? Right. Right. Wait, we have, we yeah, have, we have, speaking of babies. You guys, the first time I bought my baby, because you know how it is when you're a mom, and sometimes you got to go to work. Yeah. And you don't have nobody watch your baby? Yeah, that's what happened to me today. So, this is Maverick. Say hi, Mavi. He's seven months. Cutie. You know, he's already a grown man with a mustache. Right? Yes. Aww. <laughs> so if he uh acts up, you know, y'all know what's up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we get it. We got a playpen over here. I'm going to have to throw it. him in there. Y'all know what's up. Okay. <laughs> All right. So let's keep it moving here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um. So, I mean, since we're... Uh, actually, you guys, hmm. it ain't no shame, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Girl, I'm with you. I'm with you. Okay, ya. so this segment, it's a, it's a long day. So this segment is called Ain't No Shame. Mm-hmm. For basically, um, we talk about things that some women, some people might look down upon, but here we are not judging anyone. No, no, no judgment judge. zone. Right. So we like to start with Ain't No Shame. Um, I think Megan has a good one today. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> ain't no shame to closing the door on your child. Uh, when you need to poop and they're mm, on the yes, outside screen. Yeah. No shit. I mean, I feel like, because sometimes I'm like on the border, like, should I leave the door open and just make him deal with the smell because you're trying to come over here right. and be all up on me? Or should I just be like, I need a moment away from you. You need to just stand outside the door and yeah. be mad. Yeah. So, when did you start doing no that? Shame. So, I mean, I think I just started doing it like yesterday where I was like, I'm going to close the door on you because <laughs> you'll survive. I, w- I put a helmet on him, this little padded helmet. Yeah, was, he's fine. So I was like, he's good. If he falls, he'll be fine. Yeah. Like, so smart. I'm closing the door. So he's like on the outside, like screaming. Banging. Oh and I like, I had to because he's starting to, like, he's very mobile now. Like he's crawling. So then he like is climbing. Like he's found stuff on the toilet that I didn't know was there. Like the the piping. There's like. Some kind of like silver wire on the back <laughs> of the toilet. I didn't even, I didn't even know that was it. I guess it's like where the water, yeah. that's where the water yeah. line. But right. you never think right. about Why that, like, right? right? Yeah. So yeah, he's like they're touching it, and I was just like, I've had to like sanitize my my toilet more than normal because right. he comes in the bathroom, right? Yeah. So then he like finds all this stuff. Like there's a, a cap that covers a bolt that bolts your toilet down. Oh, with a white cap. Right. right? Like yeah, no, yeah, who, yeah, who, yeah. who pulls the the right. cap off? The baby. 
right, right now. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I didn't even know that it came off because I would just clean around it and like right. keep it moving, right? So the next thing I know, I see it in his mouth and I was oh, like, oh my no. gosh, like, no. <laughs> no. So then I was like, you know what, bruh, you just gonna have to go. So, yeah, he's yeah, good been, for the microbiome. Ain't no shame. Ain't no, right. no shame. <laughs> see, look, maybe no he's gonna shame. be healthy because of yes. that. Yeah, look, go. no shame to you for picking that thing go up. Go ahead, Matt. Don't be trying you to know kiss me in the mouth, though. Right? No. No kissing the mouth. So that's me. Um, okay. Ain't no shame in picking up food from the floor and letting your baby eat it. Mm. Um, so Halo goes in the fridge now. She opens the fridge. Wow, it's steps nice. on the it little is. white <laughs> part. Uh, tofu? Tofu? Oh, raspberry? Wow. Red be- so she's always looking for raspberries or tofu. Oh, so, so the cute. other day she like pulled the raspberry cart and dropped it on the floor. <laughs> Uh-huh. Those organic raspberries oh, are like no, right. five, six dollars. Yes. Yeah. For just the little container. Yeah. Right. So I was like, Yes. Oh, you're going to eat these. Yeah. <laughs> like, you're going to eat these. So I literally well, rinsed them off a little yes. bit. Like, I, oh, you're good. You rinsed them. them. Yeah. yeah that didn't even, it, that ain't even No, no. <laughs> wait, wait. Oh, I think I rinsed them. Yeah, maybe. Who knows? <laughs> I was gonna say, I was Either like, way, you're going to eat them. Mm-hmm. Like, there you go. Again, another lesson in microbiome health. <laughs> right, right. I just feel like if my mom was there or someone was there, I probably would have been like, oh, I got to throw these out. And in my heart, been like, Oh my God! Right, no, like six dollars right there. Six dollars, <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, ain't no shame in letting your kids eat. There you go. Yeah, yeah. I'm trying. To, I'm thinking like, what is my no shame? I mean, I don't know. You're still new. I'm still new. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't know. Ain't no shame, like in just like like would you say closing the door when she's in there when you're in the bathroom? Yeah. So at first, when she was really little, I would keep the door open, put her in the bassinet. Which, by the way, our apartment is like the size of someone's bathroom, anyways. <laughs> so you can't go that far. LA. So it's fine. <laughs> But I would keep her in the little bassinet and then I would actually keep the door open in the bathroom so I could see her. But she's safe in the bassinet. So now I just close the door and like do my own thing. And I also hide in there a lot. So I should say that's my no shame because daddy will be holding her. I'll be like, I got to go to the bathroom. But I really don't. Right. I just go in to the bathroom. I don't actually use the bathroom. I go to my phone. I take my computer in there. See, sometimes you just got to escape to the bathroom, yeah. right? Last I night I watched the, the time. movie in there. Shut I watched, up. Yeah, I watched that Reversing Row documentary on Netflix. <laughs> I was doing my hair, too. I wasn't just sitting there. But, yes. So Did your husband ever go, like, what are you doing? Look, no. Because <laughs> he does the same thing. So he, uh, oh, yeah. He knows oh, yeah. Not, the little he, tablet. But he's worse. Like, that's who I got it from. Right. From him. Right. His little iPad. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. That's like Terrell. Terrell will be in the bathroom. I'll be like, babe, are you okay? Yeah, yeah I'm good. Yeah. And he'll come out with the tablet. You'll hear the ESPN yeah, song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. It's always like, sports. Oh, you're in there. Yeah. Watching no, my fiance is like, why right? are you still right. in there? What are you doing? I see you posting stuff on Instagram. Are you Stop. done? I'm like, if you don't leave me alone, let me have this moment. Right? Speaking right. of Instagram, right? Those are the that's the break. Right, right, right. right. Well, that's our next segment called Let's Scroll. <laughs> yes. Okay. Since you're yes. taking a break with us, we like to, you know, escape to the bathroom sometimes. Yes. Take a break, look at our feed and see yes. what's going on our feed. Yes, yeah, sorry. Mm-hmm. Matt was like kicking this table y'all. Okay. <laughs> He's over here. Right. Uh, Losing our mics. Uh, Megan, what's on your um, feed while you're okay. on the toilet? So there's a new study <laughs> that came out that says women who are funny at work. Like, don't do as well. It can what? actually hurt them, right? What? Because it's what like... Do you mean? Okay, so, and when I read this, I was like, oh my gosh, this is so true. Okay, because I work at... I show... I mean, y'all know where I work, but I work at a place that is, like, all about comedians. We post comedic content, and I'm, like, the only girl. And mm-hmm. there's things that I will say that somebody... Like, I even tried it just to see if it would work. I said a joke exactly the way somebody else said it, like, mm-hmm. like months before, and um, I was like, I'm going to use their joke. I'm going to say it again. And I said it and nobody laughed. They didn't remember the joke. They just didn't laugh because it came from me. And I was Ooh. like, and I, I called them out. I was like, y'all, you were cracking up when you heard this joke before. They're like, we haven't heard this joke before. I said, yes, you have. Because I used someone else's joke. Because I wanted to see Testing, what would happen. And they were like, oh, well, it's not funny. And I was like, well, y'all <laughs> cracking up with somebody when a man said it. But mm-hmm. I said it ain't funny, huh? Mm-hmm. So apparently it's true. Like men seem to feel a little like they feel uncomfortable. Yeah. When women are funny. So you have to, yeah. so like the whole point of the study was like, just so you know, at work, like you have to be careful as a woman where and how you use your humor. Mm. Wow. So like you can use it, you know, you can use it here and there, sprinkle it in a presentation, but like you have to be mindful. Just like, it's like almost like being black. Like you have to be yeah. mindful that yeah. you're black yeah. when you go to certain places. There's yeah. certain things that I would just say, but I would get labeled as like angry yeah. <laughs> if I was right, in a, right. a different audience. Exactly. You know what I mean? So it's like, like just being aware when you're at work, ladies. Dang. 
Okay. L- look at how you use your heels. Another thing we have to wow. remember. Right. So, well, <laughs> right. So the question I have for you is work with women. Exactly. Only women. Exactly. That's why we have this podcast. Yeah. Right. So um, have you ladies ever had to deal with uh, like being some kind of issue or bias because you were women at work? I mean, yeah. I mean, I feel like I'm always, I'm in te- I've been in technology creative mm-hmm. fields and I'm usually the only, if not woman, black woman. Mm-hmm. Um, and just feeling like I have to more so perform at a higher level or have all my uh, I's dotted and T's crossed. Like if I'm messed up on scheduling like a specific time, it's like the end of the world. But if this person shows up late with their flip flops and their dog, like, (laughs) how are you doing? Like, welcome to the meeting. You know, it's just like, it's just always that stigma of like, Mm-hmm. Oh God, I gotta, mm-hmm. I gotta make sure like Perfect. nobody calls me out. Like I gotta be double prepared unless they call on me. You know? Right, right, right. Mm-hmm. But that's why I do my own thing now. Yeah, there you go. Be your own boss. I ain't tripping. I, I, I've like never had a real job. Really? That's awesome. <laughs> no, that is you. like amazing. I'm I want to live there for you. I, awesome. I don't know. Yeah, that's good girl. <laughs> I worked at restaurants, but you know, whatever. Yeah, I whatever. don't remember. Hey, good for you. That's what we're we're trying to achieve now. Like right, right. Work for yourself. Do right. what you want to do. Yeah. So, okay. Yes. Well, I'm a huge sports fan. Super competitive. Like I go to the, get the games and like almost getting kicked out. Like yeah. you can't wow. say this. Yeah. So um, I'm a big fan of like Drake and all his antics. Yeah. When it comes to sports. Mm-hmm. So recently he was at a game, his hometown and uh, Toronto, and he was doing his thing, high-fiving the players, giving the coach massages, just doing the most. <laughs> um, but the daughter of the owner of the, the team they were playing uh-huh. wasn't feeling it. So she came to the game in like a Pusha T shirt because ah, you know, Pusha T and Drake yeah, had their like right, beef. Right, yeah. um, and she was just like, you know, I'm not here for it. Yeah. So Petty Drake, of course, uh, I love it. <laughs> he goes online. And he basically says, like, look, girl, like, I'm going to make sure you get tickets to my next concert. And then he posted, like, her picture in, as his icon. Oh, really? So it was, like, her <laughs> her face. And he's, like, subliminally wow. tweeting her. Um, That's funny. So I thought it was hilarious because I love sports. I love the competition. Yeah. I love when it gets to this type of yeah. year and, like, yeah. everybody's, like, repping their home, like, extra hard. Um, so, like, my question is, like, have you guys ever just been, like, super petty online? Like, have you guys just ever kind of... Um, just went the extra mile to know, like, make sure someone knew that you were talking about them. I feel like if you're a real one, you at them. Mm. Mm. You, if you keep, yeah. can't be like subliminal, yeah, like, yeah, just yeah, don't say really it online. Right. Unless you're gonna say who it is, right? Je- don't even do it. Yeah. Mm, that's so cool. I usually like if I have something to say. Have I done that before? I feel like I might have put a meme. Yeah. Up. I don't know. I haven't. Like what I'll do is if I had if I feel some kind of way like if I feel I've had a bad day or whatever I might put a meme up but it's not about anyone in mm-hmm. particular yeah mm-hmm. you yeah. know what I'm saying yeah I have mm-hmm. had people come on my page and like hate on stuff mm-hmm. or they'll like say ugly terrible yeah. things or like any of the content that I've put up on YouTube like they'll they'll they say the worst things okay people I don't know are how trolls. you do it they say the worst things and like I like to. But go on as myself and like converse with them and yeah. say things like, oh, too bad you're ugly. You <laughs> wish you could do what I do. Like, I'll do that, but I don't know yeah, if that's petty. Yeah. I feel like I'm just like, a little bit. That's is it petty? I mean, they're coming to your page. So, I mean, right, people right, come to right. my, or they're coming to the content for the place that I work. Like, they're coming on that page. Right. And I'll just be in the comments like, and you ugly. Yeah. And that's why you live in nowhere. And you wish you were me. Like, right. I'll just say all kinds of stuff. Like, one time I, I made a whole paragraph up. Like, that's why you got to work every day. And this is your job. And you, nobody likes you there. And there's no upward mobility. But you stuck there. Like, dang. Dang, that was petty. Yeah, that yeah, was, was, it? Yeah, that's, was the whole, that's the whole question I asked. Right. It's like, no, was it not really? really but. <laughs> but it was I directed to I feel like petty I guess in my head petty is like you're not you're you're trying to act like you're not talking about that person yeah, yeah. Like, okay. but I was yeah. talk, I yeah. wasn't passive yeah. exactly right. okay. I was absolutely okay. I see what you're saying I was aggressive okay, okay. I wasn't okay. passive yeah, yeah. <laughs> good. Yeah, yeah, better. Not, good for you I mean you have a, a an open account to like, keep the it public. Classy, okay, you see her page. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't think I ever. Yeah. When people say when people come to me with petty stuff, yeah. I don't even respond. But do people say That's things good. like that on a food? Rarely. Like, but you know what? Mostly on YouTube. Like you said, with YouTube. Yeah. YouTube is like really attracts all sorts really? of crazy stuff. Yes. Girl. But I don't. I just don't respond sometimes. Yeah. I'll just like, what's it when you block the people? Yeah. Or when you oh, report yeah. them and they yeah. say something really, really crazy. 
But no, I never How can someone that's find always, something crazy? Your videos are always so amazing make, make, make and food and lovely. Because people are so unhappy. Really? There's yeah. so right? many unhappy yeah. people. Right? And I will block yeah. you in a heartbeat. I will accuse you of harassment and bullying. <laughs> mm-hmm. And then it always asks, like, is this person bullying you or someone you know? Like, are you yes. like, is yeah. it? Right. It's me. Block them. So, like, yeah. there's been a lot of people who have gotten some yeah. kind of warning on Instagram or YouTube. It was me. Yeah. <laughs> I blocked you in it, reported you for harassment because you harassed me. Somebody called me fat. I was like, yes, harass, block. Yes. <laughs> Someone was like, oh, her voice is annoying. Block. Harassment, block. <laughs> like, I love your voice. No, I mean, it's it annoying, is. but I don't care. It is I, not like, annoying. Like it. Someone was like, oh, you're so, well, yeah, the running joke um, where I work is, like, with the comedians is that I have wide shoulders, like, like linebacker shoulders. I do. I have broad shoulders. And so, like, they can make fun of me because I know them. But right. you, random man in the Midwest, right. I don't know you. No. So, harassment, block. Right. Okay? Right. Right. Go Set the you. boundaries. Everybody can yes. get it. <laughs> All right, except for our mommy tip. So, you know, Janae is an awesome vegan chef. So we're going to do how to eat vegan today. Now, I have a story about this. So I used to be something that was like not really real, but it, I, the term was real. Uh-huh. I used to be pesca vegan. So what that yeah, means, okay. which is like, they're kind of like oxymoron. Like they don't go right. together. Right. But because vegan but technically means no like right, animals. Right, right, right. <laughs> But right? look, it's better than saying I'm vegan and you still eat fish on the low or oh, like true. not even Ooh, on the low, so, no, not even on, on the low because right. a lot of people be like, I'm vegan and then they eat fish like not on the low. Yeah. Just like, can I order the shrimp? That plate, recently please? happened too. Yeah. To a, a food blogger. Yeah. Oh yeah. What, that she was like, that she was vegan it. and then she ate. Someone caught her up. Ooh, right. But that was yeah. that was different, though, because she said she was going to come out. She just hadn't done yeah, it Yeah. She said she hadn't came mm-hmm. out yet. Yeah, yeah, Somebody yeah. caught her too. And she was looking like. Well, look, my my husband basically doesn't believe anyone is vegan, really, except for me. <laughs> and himself, already... obviously himself, because we live together. But uh-huh. like other people, he like doesn't believe anyone is vegan. <laughs> Hilarious. He they're lying. Hilarious. He's like, I, mean... I don't know what they're doing on the low. Who knows? What they be sneaking? Who knows? Right. Okay. <laughs> so, so my tip is: so I used to. I was pesky vegan for like a year and a half, but then uh-huh. I went to Cabo for my birthday and I was like, I'm trying to eat meat and oh, trying yeah. to get steak. I know they stuff is not vegan, so, and then I never went back, but I'd be dabbling. Like, I have like, yeah. I would say when I was pregnant, I used to eat vegan like maybe three days out of the week. Yeah, you did good. That's yeah, good. I did good. That's and good. like now, a little less than that, but, it, but I still have my vegan days. But what I learned is when you're living this lifestyle, you do have to be prepared. You can't just yeah. like fly by the seat of your pants or yeah. else you're going to end up eating something that crosses the line into right. vegetarianism. Yeah. Um, so yeah. meal prep is key. Yeah. That mm-hmm. is my tip for so, eating vegan. Yeah. Ooh, that is yeah. the best tip. Meal key. prep. Meal prep. prep. Yes. Yeah. And then always keep some nuts in your car. Yes. I got oh, them in my bag. Yes. Always. Yes. Because you never know always. when you get caught up. Meal prepping always. has been so hard ever since I had Halo. Yeah. Halo for some reason, like, and, and I... I always say like I turn into like fat vegan where I'm just like making quick pastas <laughs> right, and just right. Right, eating yeah, rice yeah, and yeah. pasta all week because like, I'm jelly. not <laughs> right, because I'm not meal prepping. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then I'll get to like half the week. Okay, I'm like, let me do three days. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And like three days is good. And then Thursday, Friday, I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm back to square one. I would just have meal prep has been so hard for me since I had Halo for some right. reason. It is hard. I would have to do like every like on Sundays I would prep like maybe three hours so I would just take three hours and And then do everything for the week yeah and it was so great and I was so disciplined and then I fell off you can always get back on it I'm trying to you can always get back on it vegans are happier by the way they are they are happy there are studies that show I mean, you're, I, I knew you were going to be happy when I met you. I was like, she's a vegan, so she better not come in here with no attitude. I, like, I know she's because you're, you're so happy. I feel like animals make you sad because of the, the hormones in them. I know, right? Like, when yeah. you kill them, they're sad. Yeah, you're like, exactly. Ah, and that's still the in the meat and the dairy <laughs> yeah. and everything. Yeah. Why are you laughing? It's true. It's true. Meat that's eaters true. be eating sad meat, mm-hmm. and then they become sad people. Yep. You know, I saw that's this, uh, and I'll true. get to buy it. It was just like this meme. It was like a piece of chicken. Dipped in like the yolk for fried chicken, and it was like, oh, oh you kill the chicken, and oh, and you and, put the, it... and dip it in its babies. Oh, like no, I was yes. just like, <gasps> yes, this is this is. I might reach as you yeah. spit, yeah. as you spit yeah. the fried it's, chicken out. It's over there, oh, man. right? Uh-huh. That's, that's, yeah. Uh-huh. Um, my tip is, at least for when I got married, when I was single, being like vegetarian was easy. Being a vegan was easy. Yeah. Like whatever I chose at that time. Yeah. Um, because I was just eating to just eat, like. Food, you yeah. know, but ever since I've been married, now yeah. I have to make sure everything tastes good. Oh. So like spices, like oh, always, yeah. like I have every spice good. because Ooh, yeah. Terrell eats vegan at home because yeah. I don't buy anything 
with dairy for him. Right. So like everything has to have flavor. Yeah. Wait, do you you still make meat for him? Only per request. Like if I go to the store and he, he'll probably request it maybe once out of the month when I'm like going to Sprouts and I literally go to the butcher. It's like, can I have two pieces of bacon and one uh, turkey patty? And Mm -hmm. so they pack it for me. That's how I shop for me. Yeah. Um, but it's it's really coming down. Like I even hear him in conversation. Like, well, they're like, "How you look so good? Like you're a vegan." He's like, "Well, at home I eat vegan." Yeah. <laughs> so it's like, um, but for me, I have every spice. Like yeah. my, I need to find a way to organize my spices because my spice cabinet mm. is insane. Mm. <laughs> because I'm always like trying to make it taste I like good the for him. Ones. I, yeah. Those are good. Oh, yeah. yeah oh, I get the stair yeah. steps. I have those. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. So you can so see you them all. Yeah, you got to be able to see it all. I need that. I need that. Oh, um, you know what? My my mother-in-law has one. It's like, it's like it goes in. It's stair oh, steps, but it goes what? in also. Oh, mm-hmm. Yeah, it's, like a, it's like a stadium. I need to get that. <laughs> I'm for sure, because my spice, I mean, it's. I actually broke Terrell's iPad because I, he went to pull something out and like my spices fell on his iPad oh. and cracked the screen. He was like, you need to organize. This. <laughs> okay. And I'm like, okay. So my tip would be probably just a variety of different yeah. spices so that, yeah. cause you can, it's all fruits and vegetables, but it's just like making it taste different. Specific. Yeah. Cause you can right. get bored. Yeah. I mean, I think that's with any food. Like I you just, so. you just want to, yeah. you want to, you want it to be different. You know what I'm saying? There's yeah. only so many ways that you can do avocado before you like, I need to do, I need a different spice on here. Yeah. Right, you know? right. Like, right. I love avocados. Yeah, or chickpeas. Yeah. I'm like, okay, I need this chickpea to taste right, like right, right. this. But right. do you feel like that if you were eating, like, chicken? I don't Do know. you feel like yeah. that? Yeah. Well, you know what's, you know what's, you would right? still have to, because I, I used to do that too. I used to have a meal prepping business and oh, I remember gosh. like, Yes, girl. I did that for like a year. Wow. I had to stop because it was taking off a little too fast. I wasn't Uh expecting it to grow like that. But that's a whole other story. All right. (laughs) So I like when I did that, I had to come up with ways to make like if I'm doing somebody's entire meal for the week, like I've got chicken in there a few different times and I'm going to have chicken again next week. Right. So I had to like come up with different spices like just so it wouldn't get bored. See What uh, actually threw me off of chicken like seven years ago, this guy who was vegan, he told me, would you ever eat a piece of chicken, like take it out of the wrapper and just right. throw it in the oven? Right. And I was like, no, and that off. scarred me. <laughs> that <laughs> that is scarred real. me. I swear to God, that scarred me. So Thinking real. about eating it just is oh like this gosh, piece yeah. of flesh. You can't eat any meat like that. Right. So it was like, oh, I can't do this no more. It was right. like embedded in my head. Yeah. Right. yeah. Ooh, I so, need something about yeah. that. I need something <laughs> yeah. like that. That's how I just need to watch some documentaries because I watched oh, two watch documentaries on Netflix yeah. and that's what like jump started me to be a pesca vegan <laughs> for for my year and a half. And I didn't <laughs> waver. I was like, I'm good. Yeah, so I need to go watch them. those. I need to watch them. Right, right, right. Let me right. back on it. Okay, so what's your tip? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we need to know. Okay. okay. What's one so tip? I'll, I'll tell you my mommy tip right now for being vegan. Something that's really helping me. Um is using meal delivery services not oh, yes. in like look okay so i don't mean like the pre-cooked stuff or like the sun basket but just like instacart oh and like prime yes. now yeah just for my groceries yes. yeah because i i think since my baby's been born i've probably been, i've probably gone to the grocery store like twice mm-hmm. my husband was doing it but i'm like that's kind of a waste of time he could yeah. be helping me <laughs> doing something else and then i realized like those Services are so inexpensive. Yeah, yeah. I signed yeah. up for the Instacart. Okay, this is not sponsored. I'm just, I really am a fan. I signed up for the Instacart, like, I think it's like, it's a yearly thing. It costs $100 a year. Oh, you signed up. Yes, you get free, oh, free well, I just delivery. I keep doing the like six, seven dollars. Oh, no, it's $100 a year. Up. That, that adds up. You probably oh, spent like a hundred bucks. I probably Already. Do. Yes. Yeah. And like, and I think they take away your service fee, the delivery really? fee. Really? Really. And you know, you can use it for like any grocery store. Yeah. Oh yeah. And you can tell them notes. You'd be like, whatever. I get only ripe avocado right, or right, unripe, right, whatever. Right. I did it last weekend because it was raining and I yeah. didn't want to take oh, the baby yeah. out. Yeah. So I did my whole grocery shopping. You got to be careful so though. Good. Sometimes there's people who don't know how to shop. And then I've true. had that happen. Yeah. Like, they even had to cancel true. my cart because they were like, there are no, uh, they're like, there's no bananas here. And I was like, this is sprouts. They always have bananas. Always. <laughs> like there are bananas there. And then it's somebody lazy. else who picked up the cart was like, oh yeah, there's bananas here. And I'm like, oh, wow. shopping before wow. you. That's the only thing because, you know, last week when I ordered it, I said, so I'm really particular yeah, about plastic bags. Oh, it's, you know, like mm-hmm. waste and stuff. Mm-hmm. The produce plastic bags, no, y'all know you don't need to, you do not need to use a plastic produce bag for one onion or for, uh, or yeah, for a jalapeno yeah. pepper yeah, or a piece of ginger. <laughs> it's ridiculous. That's true. Now, I know, this is my PSA to the world right now because I know a lot of people don't actually think about it. We just are, we're just doing it. Just right. To, oh, right. it's a plastic bag for Miss One Sweet Potato. Right. You don't need to use the plastic bag. The no. plastic bag is very difficult to recycle and probably will never get recycled. 
True. You know? Right. So don't use a plastic bag. If you must use a, a produce bag, use a re- reusable one that you bring yeah. from home. I just bought one for Tell rice. <laughs> I did okay, buy one for rice. So you mine in bulk? Like, is that what you Yeah, like what? this little rice bag, and I just pour my rice yes. in this like, little Yes. Bag. Yes. Oh, yeah. I just leave it in the bag. She, mean? Buys, she means in bulk, right? Yeah. Like I go to the bin and buy this wild rice. Oh, that's And I buy a little I rice bag. That way. Yeah, I just bought a little so rice smart. bag. It's a little black Ooh, rice. See, yeah. I'm Asian. We just have humongous <laughs> like, like eight pound bags we... of rice. We leave it in there. We just have a big eight pound bag of rice in the house. <laughs> now, I'm not Asian, <laughs> but I do do that. <laughs> we go to the, the Japanese grocery store see? and buy like the 25 oh, pound bag of rice. Gosh, and then yeah. we just, you know, parse it out from there. Yeah. That's yeah. How it goes. Hey, that's how it goes. I actually just saw your PSA about shopping in bulk, and I was thinking about that like yeah i should probably do that you shampoo save and everything it's better for right it's better for the environment but also yeah. you save money yeah so mm-hmm. like it's win-win but look at for instacart i wrote big letters do not use produce bags for any <laughs> produce for every single produce item <laughs> i copy order paste. look copy did paste. they do it did they put all of them <laughs> she just trolled me <laughs> everything i bought had a put it, it was in a bag <gasps> everything she probably thought you said oh, put it in a produce bag. i know that's what i <laughs> <laughs> She's like, well, let me make sure I get everything right. <laughs> this one well, let me try to get it all in one. <laughs> right, she wore it. Right. <laughs> she read it like backwards, I guess. So, yeah. She but, probably yeah. don't listen. She don't hear this. She but I took like, them. To, yesterday, I went to Target and I took all my produce bags to the recycling at Target. And I stuck them in there. Good I was like, you. look, everybody, this is what I'm doing. Y'all should do it too. Because, I mean, like, especially having a a kid now, Mm -hmm. even before, but also having a kid, it's like we're leaving this planet to our children. We want to leave it in a, well, unfortunately, it's not going to be better. It's going to be worse off, but it doesn't even need to be, like, totally destroyed. Right. At least you did your part. You right. know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. you did your part. There's X amount of bags that are not flown out in the <laughs> ocean right now because of you. Right. Like, 12. <laughs> but, you know, I pretty much only buy my produce at the farmer's market because mm-hmm. we live in L.A. And I just make it a point. It's like my it's like my hangout. I like to go to the farmer's market, mm-hmm. even if I don't need, but, like, two different things. We will go. And we'll walk around and look at stuff yeah. and talk to people and try, like, little samples and I love stuff. It. And so I do buy most of my groceries, my produce there mm-hmm. anyway. So it's not that big of a deal. Like, right. you know, for Instacart with the pl- the plastic That's bags. Right. Mm-hmm. Wait, so how long have you been a vegan? For a little over eight years. What made you go, I'm done with you animals? <laughs> yeah. Was, I loved animals. So, like, I was vegetarian, pescatarian, like, floating back and forth. I even did the pesca vegan. Mm-hmm. I didn't have the word, but now I know what it's I was. It's a real word, y'all. It's a <laughs> real word. There's a whole community. <laughs> I was floating back and forth, and I was working at a vegan restaurant and surrounded by vegans, and people were telling me, Janae, you need to stop eating that fish, or you need to stop eating that yogurt, whatever. And I started feeling so guilty. Every time they would try to tell me, like, something about, like, the animal agriculture industry, I would just plug my ears and walk away, like, don't tell (laughs) me, la, 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 I walk out of the room. But eventually, I started feeling guilty Mm. after about a year working at that restaurant. And so I just was like, you know what? I feel so guilty. Let me educate myself. Let me see where my food is coming from. Uh So I did my own education. And I was just totally like overnight. I read like I started reading one book. And by the time I was done with like chapter two, I was like, I'm done. (laughs) I'm done. I'm never again. And so, yeah, that's it. And then so it was originally for animal ethics. And it still is, of course. But I wasn't even thinking about health. I didn't really. The people I was with, they were not talking about the health aspects. After I became vegan, that's when I started exploring Mm. the health. You know, realizing, oh, my God, this is so much better for me also. Yeah. So it was all about the animals. Yeah, at first, 100%. So now it's about everything. Health, the animals, and the environment, of course. You know, thinking about, like, you know. Right. So I I see you do these videos. Well, actually, I love that you do these videos. Yes. About... um, being a vegan and it can be under $30, you'll do yeah. your, your clips. What do you say to the person that says it's too expensive? Yeah, I mean, you it's know? like, I understand that because so much of the image of veganism is overly expensive. It's yeah. like buying all the superfoods mm-hmm. and like, you know, all that shopping at Whole Foods or here in LA, Erewhon and all that. Oh gosh, it's expensive. Really? <laughs> it's so <laughs> ridiculous. It's so you expensive. Haven't? I mean, Whole Foods, yes. Yeah, yeah Erewhon. Yeah. Even, Erewhon's yeah. just fun to walk around and look at the price tags and like yeah. laugh. Oh my gosh, yeah. yeah. It's, so it's comical. Yeah. But like the same stuff. It's really comical. Anyway, so that's the image of right. veganism, but it's wrong. It is not right. the whole thing. It's just a myth. You know, vegan eating vegan is like the way poor people had to eat. 
and have to eat that's true. in most parts oh, of the world. That is that's true. true. Animal that's products true. are very expensive in most parts of the world. Yeah. And like even with my family growing up, we didn't have a lot of money and we ate well, we were semi-vegetarian. That's mm -hmm. another term. <laughs> Whereas we didn't eat red meat, but we very rarely even ate chicken and fish because it was too expensive. Right, we ate beans right. and greens. Yeah. And, yeah. So I'm from Atlanta. So obviously we just ate like, I mean, not obviously. I'm black too. So we ate soul food. All black people <laughs> eat soul food. So yeah, that's pretty much all we ate was beans, greens, sweet potatoes, other potatoes, cabbage, things like that. Mm -hmm. And... Um, that was super ex inexpensive. Yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. So I think that people are trying to like do the most and like do like this fancy, like avant garde vegan meal. That's yeah. actually a person, by the way. I shouldn't say it. <laughs> but they're trying to do all these like fancy, expensive vegan meals, but it's just simply not necessary. Yeah. You can eat beans, lentils, whole grains, mm -hmm, like mm -hmm. rice, eat white rice, brown rice, whatever. The greens are available at almost all grocery stores. If you live in a yeah. food desert, it does make it a little bit more difficult. Yeah, yeah. But for people who live in those situations, I like encourage them to start growing their own food, start campaigning, mm, having yeah. their neighbors put together some sort of garden, yeah. like change it. Don't yeah. just complain about it, right. which yeah. I know a lot of people don't have time, but I do think it's doable for everybody, yeah. especially like I said, this is like the original poor people food. And now we've like, this, the certain people have made it like a fancy, expensive mm. way of eating. It's That's just true. not. It's just not true. Yeah, yeah. I agree with that yeah. wholeheartedly. Because I'll have my days where I have everything I need in the fridge, but I'm like, ooh, I want to go buy some like. And I think uh, that's more of it than it right. is the cost. It's yeah. not like, the, I think it's the convenience because, oh, yeah. you know, people who eat whatever, you can go to McDonald's, you don't want to cook, and right. then there's a variety of stuff. But like, so if you want to go to the so vegan true. restaurant, it's right. so expensive. It's expensive. I went this that's morning. so true. Where'd you go? <laughs> Sage. Sage. Oh, yeah. my favorite place. Yep. It's favorite really restaurant. good, but like one yeah. bowl, what is it, like 12 $15? Oh, yeah. And I got a coffee. I had oh, to wait for a store it. to open, so I was like, ooh, Sage is across the street. Look at how God loves me. I don't know. You got that $5 coffee. Right. Thank you, Sage. Right. Yeah, so I was just, you know, I mean, but there are days where I want, like, another thing of nutritional yeast, mm -hmm. and I want oh, yeah. a certain brand, mm -hmm. or I want to buy vegan mm -hmm. uh, ranch because I want to make these poppers. Or, yeah, just, but you have the luxury days. to do that. You have the luxury. I have the luxury to do that. Right, I do. Right. I eat out at least once a week, especially now I have a baby because yeah. it's, oh, yeah. you know, time savings. But before, like, when I first went vegan, I was working part-time at that vegan restaurant. So I wasn't Ooh. making, I was making like, I don't know, like $300 a week, right. 200, I don't know. I was not making a lot of money. Uh -huh. And um, I was an actress back then. So that's what I was pursuing my other part of the time. <laughs> and I could not buy that stuff. Right, like right. it just simply was not in my budget if I actually wanted to keep my apartment too. So <laughs> right. I like, it's okay to have the luxury and it's yeah. okay to spend money right. on being vegan, but it's not necessary to think that you have to. Right, right. Like she right. said, though, yeah. that is so real. Like, you can't just pull up at McDonald's and try to order some French, even French fries. <laughs> right. Because even that's not vegan. Oh, that's like cooked in beef oil. Right. Mm -hmm. crazy. What? Yeah. yeah. So oh, I mean, yeah. not that I thought they were. <laughs> what? I knew, I mean, they're, they're just not bad. They're not good for you. I mean, they're bad for you. But mm -hmm. I didn't realize. They got like yeah. a beef yeah. salt or something. Yeah. What? But so unnecessary. Yeah. I know. Like, Why? Like, I know. I think I it's think just it's addicting, extra. maybe. Is and it like makes yeah, you maybe addicted? That. Maybe that. Oh, is that it? And, but you know, it could just be like maybe. byproduct. A lot of yeah. the fast food uh, stuff is just yeah. like, we got extra X or Y or Z. <laughs> just throw it in there. Right, right. It'll but, save money. Right. I wish we had like more cheap vegan options. But for me, I might not need to like save that much money or, you know, I have a more of a budget now, but I am a budget nista. Like I you. love, yeah, so I right. always have my snacks with me. Right. I, I very rarely eat out because right. I want to save my money. Mm -hmm. Good job. You know, I'm definitely Your looking mommy for now. it, girl. <laughs> yes. Yes. So is your husband a vegan? Mm-hmm. Okay. He became vegan about a year after I did. Okay. Because we were living together, so. Yeah. Just, yeah. And I was, when I first started reading about like the animal agriculture stuff, I became obsessed and I actually, yeah. sadly, I got pretty depressed. Like I was oh, just wow. like in a rut, just like exposing myself to all this like truth and yeah. it really depressed me. And I got like a little bit obsessed and I saw all I could talk about. And I, I started to understand why my coworkers always wanted to like convert me. Right. <laughs> I don't do that though. Cause I don't yeah. think that's effective, yeah. for, you know? Yeah. Um, but I did that with my husband. And so <laughs> just living with me and like seeing oh, me like yeah. crying, like, do yeah. you know? Right. He he also became vegan. Yeah, I do a little bit of shaming as well. Yeah. Oh, yeah. you're gonna eat that burger? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> do you know <laughs> where that came from? 
You want to watch a video? Yes. And Marissa is the queen of shaming somebody <laughs> about their food. No. Really? I'm talking about. I'm talking everyone? about. Everyone? No, 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 no. Not everybody. You're, you're not. You're not like that. But like your friends. Yeah. Really? Your family. Really? You don't make sure that the people you're healthy. close to. Yeah. Hey, oh look. yeah. I'll like. I'll provide a healthy alternative. Mm-hmm. Like oh. Yeah, I guess you're right. <laughs> oh, did you know? <laughs> so wait, how has it been like being a mom? And I know you you touched on it earlier, but like you don't have as much time now. So yeah, right. like today, you're like, I don't have any food. Oh my <laughs> god! <laughs> Last night was like specific, like like extra bad. And this this morning was uh. Last night was really bad though, because the thing was, I had to do my hair. Mm-hmm. I usually wear my hair in like these faux locks, and yeah. it's great. I don't have to do anything, yeah. but I took them out, and I want to wear my natural hair for a little bit um and so i had to wash my hair last night mm-hmm. my husband's like oh don't wash worry about day. it janae i'll hold the baby look i've been waiting for this wash day though for right. a week <laughs> hey i'll hold the baby you'll be all right you'll be all right and as soon as i give him the baby she starts like kind of fussing and i'm like <laughs> i know i should not get in the shower because right. once i'm in here like right. i'm not gonna just i can't just hop back out right, right. my hair is tangly it's a mm-hmm. mess um, she had the biggest temper tantrums mm. and I was like slipping, I almost like fell trying to get out of the shower to like go save her. Anyways, um, and all this, like me washing my hair, me trying to get her to bed, me trying to like get back to the bathroom to do my hair. It took me three hours to just wow. like detangle it. It's still, it's still tangled. <laughs> I did not get to cook. Aww. So I'm like, Max, I asked my husband to cook for me and like he got a little frustrated and like I ended up kind of going to bed like slightly hungry. Aww. Yeah. <laughs> because he, I couldn't do the cooking. He's not, he does not feel comfortable cooking, especially not for me because I'm yeah. picky. Mm-hmm. So yeah, it didn't work out so well last night. <laughs> if I had, if I had had food prepared ahead of time, which honestly I did, but I have a bigger appetite. I ate the extra food. Yeah, yeah. I did. I ate it all, and then I was still hungry. So you have a bigger appetite since you had the oh, Yeah, oh, they say you're supposed yeah, to eat yeah, well, 500 yeah. more calories. Wow, because you were so hungry. Yeah, and I feel like yeah. for I mean for 500 calories, the thing about eating vegan, like you it's not that many calories. calories. <laughs> for 500 calories, yeah. exactly like a whole meal, like. It's pretty low in calories. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you really got to bulk up. That's why everyone laughs at my baby because she's always eating. But I'm like, you guys, she's only eating. Right, I, I always do. I'd be like, hey, look, eating again. But I know why she's like, eating. She I understand. She eats so yeah. much like yeah. food. Yeah. But it's like she will eat a whole half a watermelon. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like oh, watermelon, yeah. watermelon, yes. watermelon. And I'm like, like, that's enough. I'm like, she's hungry. This yeah. girl runs around right. all day. But you, right. And that is the way humans are supposed to be. There's a, yep, do y'all know true. Dr. Gregor? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. He's amazing. He has this video like paleo poop and he talks about like they what? did this these analysis Ay. on paleo poop. So prehistoric human poop yeah. and they see what they ate and how much fiber they ate. Yeah. And then also mm-hmm. you can compare it to like current day um, gatherer hunters and how much fiber they eat. They eat all day. They move all yeah. day. They eat so much more fiber than even me as a whole food vegan. Because right? yeah. they're just constantly eating leaves and this yeah. and that. and. Yeah, so that's the way it's supposed to be. Yeah, that yeah. is the way. But it just look, and it does take up so much time because I do it remember does. that, like I like being pesky vegan. I was because I wouldn't even eat fish every day. Yeah, mm-hmm. but I, yeah. I just still had it in my diet, and I would I would just be like, I feel like my whole day is consumed with me wanting to eat. Like I, I want to eat now. Like, right, like, right. 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 Exactly. I just, no. I'm like literally in my head, like yeah. ooh watermelon. Yeah, right. yeah. Oh yeah, right. <laughs> the whole day. So right. so yeah, that's the only thing about. I would say that that was a downside for me because I. I was like, I don't have time yeah. to try to, you know, yes, I, right. I, I I can't eat. I just ate like two hours ago, but I'm yeah. like, oh, I'm right, ravenous. Right. You know? But the things like, like for me, one thing that if I eat this before I go to bed or whatever, I will be, I will be full for a while. Mm-hmm. Lentils. Oh, true. Lentils. I love Fiber, lentils. Yeah. protein, yeah. all them vitamins yeah. and minerals, lentils. Right, yes. right, right. Yeah. So if your daughter, I'm, I'm assuming you're going to raise her vegan, mm-hmm. but if she decided one day... She wanted to eat a piece of chicken. Are you like opposed to it? Or are you? I'm opposed to it, but yeah. I'm like, that's her, right? Right. I am opposed to it. Yeah. But I'm not, I can't stop her. I don't yeah. believe in like, like I would never buy that for her. She's like, mom, I just want to try it. Will you buy it? I say, no, no, yeah. absolutely not. But <laughs> right. it's, Use your own money. Right. Right. Wait till you get out the house. <laughs> they do what you want. Exactly. That's exactly <laughs> what I'll say. But if she's like at a friend's house, I'm not going to like yeah. police what she does. Yeah. But I think it, you know, I, so I actually have a lot of cousins who are vegan. A little background. My dad was raised Hebrew Israelite and they're vegan. Mm. Oh, the, yeah. the specific oh. Hebrew Israelites they are. I think there's a lot of different uh, yeah. Hebrews. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But the ones that they are, 
100% vegan. My dad was raised vegan. His brother, so it's him and his brother, all both raised vegan. My dad is back to it now, mm. but his brother never, ever went off. And he has like 15 kids. They all live in Israel. Because you're supposed <laughs> oh, wow. to like, move to Israel. Yeah. They all live in Israel. They're all Dope. vegan. And they stay vegan. Not all of them. The one who moved here is not vegan anymore. Right, of course. Of course. <laughs> of course. But they, uh, the other ones, they stayed vegan. Mm-hmm. And I think it's helpful, like, you know, looking at the way they were raised, it's helpful for you to understand why you eat this way. Right. Yeah. Right. And so it's easier to just, like, stick with it. I yeah. think. Like I, like I said, I was raised semi-vegetarian. I never had red meat in my right. life. I still have not. Right. And when I was a kid, like, going to my friends' homes, I never felt like, I want to try the pepperoni or <laughs> whatever. Because <laughs> my parents... <laughs> My parents told me why we didn't eat it. And yeah, it like, yeah. made sense to me. Yeah. So hopefully it'll be like that with her. I think it's, for me, when I get asked that, it's always like, I just want to show her there's a different way of eating. Yeah. yeah. So if she does go try it, right. she'll come back. Yes. If her tummy hurts, she knows she can make exactly. a green juice. And exactly. Detox and detox. get back to her life. Exactly. She's you know fine. what I mean? That's all she's I want. Fine. Like, that's all I want. So wait, look, yeah, she's yeah, like, I'm, I'm about to go eat this burger, mom. I'll see you later. I was like, don't tell me that. Like, <laughs> yeah. I mean, just like her dad. It's yeah, just kind of like, what you do, do when you. you're not here. I don't need right. to know. Do you. Right. right. And go brush your teeth. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> that, exactly. I smell that meat on you. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but, yeah, I think that's pretty cool, though. I mean, just to give our babies of color just options. Exactly. Yeah. No, that is real. I mean, and I, I was like, I'm like debating what I'm going to do with Mav. Like, I don't, I don't plan to give him meat, mm-hmm. but I also, like, for example, I think vegetarian, he'll probably be vegetarian just because he's on like a cow's formula now. Mm-hmm. So I think we'll be mm-hmm. vegetarian with him and then we'll have our days of being vegan. Mm-hmm. And then there might be days where we eat meat. So mm-hmm. there's just, but I just, I, I want his baseline to be at least vegetarian if yeah. not vegan, you know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. absolutely. Um, yeah. Bro, another segment that you like to do <laughs> is um, like quick meals. Yeah. Uh, and I know oh, for me, I was saying earlier yes. that when I resort to quick meals, it's just like, pasta or like something in the box or yeah. you know what I mean just something processed which makes my tummy hurt too yeah um so what what vegan quick Look, meals this, this for us new moms of, this <laughs> is the theme of my week I need this I need this, <laughs> right. I need this too. <laughs> and I, I have been this is my theme of my week because this week has been a little rough with me with the food and I've been like trying to figure out like meal prepping has been hard for me too but one yeah. meal prep thing that I can do and that I think is so important is simply just wash the greens ahead of time. Right. Like, I didn't do that last night. That's Mm -hmm. why I didn't, like, I couldn't make, like, a Buddha bowl because we didn't. Let me hold him. (laughs) Girl, he's sleepy. Let me hold him. You need a break, okay? This is is, is, is needing a break. This is real. This is real life, y'all. Come on. (laughs) Come on. Oh, so we can get so mommy can get these meals okay yeah. mommy get these quick meals I, know, okay. I need these quick meals yeah okay, okay. you Let take mommy notes get these quick meals. <laughs> okay so wash your greens ahead of time like yes. when like even if you're not going to if you don't have time to do a full meal prep session just wash the vegetables Oh, that's you true. Know what I mean? Or get them yeah. chopped up ahead of time. Or buy them like that. Right. But yeah, I yes. had. I, I mean, I used to be such a stickler like against that because I was like, oh, only people who Me don't too. cook well are those who get yeah. like the pre-chopped onions. You don't know how they <laughs> clean those onions. And then I had a baby and was like, right. oh, get the chopped onions, yeah. get Bell the pepper, mint chopped garlic. garlic. Yes, all right. that. Garlic, I like, yes. Right. I'm yes. not chopping anything right? now. So I mean, it, I totally like that's, so that's like no shade, right. no judgment. <laughs> And preach no vegetables. Right? I get it you now. Need that. You I get need it, it now. Because it's like you, you, and, and if, if you have those things on hand, it's like maybe you will actually cook some. Yeah. Because it's as easy, mm-hmm. perhaps, as like making a little stir fry or like mm-hmm. making a little salad. It's already clean. Yeah. And I know cleaning like doesn't seem like it should be so difficult, but it takes a lot of time. It does. That was probably my work. Like the when I did have a meal prep business, I felt like most of the time was spent on yeah. the prep. Right? The like, prep. Before you even get to cook. I there's agree. stuff that needs to be diced and yeah. minced and chopped and cleaned. Like exactly. that takes forever. Exactly. And then get a good food processor. I oh think my that's, gosh. Oh, yes. yes. That's such a good That tip. helps so much. Such that makes the stuff together. Cut right? all up. You don't have to worry about what, it. What's, what's your favorite? Like, wait, which which one to use? Yeah. I just, wait, I got a brand new one. It's like like the huge one. I don't wow. even know what the- Cuisinart? Like the classic It is one? a Cuisinart. Yes. That's what it is. Yes. They're so good. That's I'm like I so use. excited. And yes, the vitamins. Have fun. Yeah. The vitamins. Oh, yeah. 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 Mm. The vitamins is like a everyday. I don't have a Vitamix. No. I got rid of it. I got a um, KitchenAid ProLine mm. mixer instead. How's Wait, that? like it the big one? Wait. Yeah. It's like a it's like a home one. It's a home mixer, but it or a blender. I got it because well, I got it because it's working with KitchenAid. But 
I oh, got yeah. rid of the Vitamix though because it works the same or I mean it's super 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 good. Yeah. And it looks better on my countertop. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, it does look nice. Yeah. I remember yeah, it does look nice. Yeah, but that's my tip like wash your greens ahead. Of, what am I is that the, that's what I'm supposed to be saying right? Yeah, 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 a tip. There wash you go. and prep yourself ahead of time. Oh, but oh, to save you were saying like the time saving. Yeah, stuff. like time saving yes. meals, like quick meals oh. just so you can just Tacos. Like the other day, I made some lentil tacos. The greens were already washed, by the way. I cooked the lentils. You don't even have to do that. You just buy them in a can if you don't have time. But cook the lentils. You know, that's the one thing you can like set and forget. Lentils. Yeah. I love lentils. Um, Did that with like a little bit of tomato, cumin, chili powder, and some collard greens that I had already washed Mm. in the refrigerator. And I served them with some, just like mashed up some guacamole, some avocado to make a guacamole and added it as a taco. It was super easy, super delicious. It's balanced. Um, And then, so that one is one of my favorite, obviously pasta, but I've been trying to buy that, like the legume pasta Mm -hmm. because it's more hearty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Yeah, the heartier ones, especially like you're going to eat them often. (laughs) And I just buy this sauce um, Mm pre-made. Also, Buddha bowls are like my Mm -hmm. go-to. And I just like, just like how you prep your, your greens, like have... If you can, roasted sweet potatoes on hand. You know, mm. always have canned beans yeah. on hand. Yeah. Always have a nice sauce in the refrigerator to dress things up with. And um, always have cooked rice and stuff like that. Like, I don't know why we go through so much rice, though. <laughs> so I feel like rice. I never can keep up with the rice. I Wait, started- do you ever, like, for fast food, do you ever go to Chipotle and just get the sofritas? No. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, are they vegan? I do like them. Yeah, they're really good. No, I never do. What I do for fast food, I will order. There's a place in Inglewood called Karuba's. Okay. Um, Karuba's where? Yardy Kitchen. It's like on Centinella made. Huh. It's a it's, vegan place? No, it's not. Oh, okay. It's like a, it's a Caribbean place. So, you know, they always have great vegan options. This place is really good. And I get the curry plate, curry jackfruit plate. It has, it has jackfruit, chickpeas, it's got the curry, it's got the cabbage, it's got the plantains, the rice and peas. Oh, we about to get Where that have today. We I know. I went in England. Where are we? Where are we? Where are we? I might do that on the way home. <laughs> but I usually order takeout. I just do Uber mm. Eats. And like, I'll be on my way home and it doesn't take that long. I'll order in the car and by the time I get home, it's there. That's so fair. That's actually really smart. Yeah. You that's know what? And, and that's spot. the other thing. Like, I think that's the, the, no matter where you live, even if you live in like the South where yeah. I know we're from, yeah. it, it's typically yeah. harder to eat like yes. you're vegan, but. You always got Chipotle. You have to have Chipotle, <laughs> true. And it's 2019. Like, there's more places. Yes, there's more options. Seriously. Usually, most restaurants have at least one thing. And I know, yes. uh, is it Del Taco? The yes. little taco? They yeah, now have the Impossible Taco. Yes. Well, I'm, I mean, well, I mean it's, it's, it. Yeah. Well, I'm sure it's like, it, it's, it's fast food. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, yeah, it's still fast food. It's not it's like it's good. Taco. But at least they have a whole vegan right. option. Yeah. You know? I bet true. anything in Del Taco true. is going to make your stomach hurt, though. That's true. Right. Yeah. And you can look. You can get the bean burrito at... Um, Taco Bell, no that's cheese? vegan. Get no cheese. Really? It is vegan. Yes. That's good. Mm. I haven't been to Taco Bell in so long. And think about how cheap that is. Right. Like that is true. It's still 88 cents it, or like It might be. Cents. I don't know how to Wait, how do you know how much is this? You eat them? Well, back in the day when we were like young, I feel yeah, like Taco Bell was like, I never ate the bean burrito. I don't know. It's just weird to me. I said no cheese, no onion, please. Yeah. We ate there all the time. When we were little kids, that was my mom's. Wow. Mine too. Tacos and burritos. Five kids. Oh, yeah, that's true. Well, my mom only had one and she was like, we got to go to that place. <laughs> We're on a budget and it's fast. But yeah. <laughs> All right, so we're about to get out of here, but we have a, a segment called I'm fine. Mm, I'm fine. Yes. yes. Mm, I'm fine. fine. So it's basically um, you know, oh, when we go I'm to these water, sorry. fellow moms and we're like, oh, how are you? Oh, I'm fine. Like, you yeah, know, you're not really, really not. yeah. Um, so we just like to leave with an encouraging word, something to get you through the day, week, hour, mm. minute. Yeah. <laughs> Second. Right. Yes. <laughs> so I have something since we're talking about food and like health and body stuff. Uh, this quote says, let food be thy medicine and medicine be thy food. It's by Hippocrates. And that was in 460 BC. Right. They knew back then. Yeah. Right, right. That you just, your food will either yeah. heal, heal you or kill you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So like, which which one are you going to choose? Mm-hmm. Right, right. That's, That's a good really one. Heal good. yourself. That's a good All right, one. <laughs> All right y'all, we're so grateful that you decided to take a break with us right here on Mommy Needs a Break. I'm Megan Thomas at Make Scoop all over the internet. Make sure you uh, continue to follow us because we've got a bunch of great guests. And where can people find you, Janae? Find me online 
Yeah, obviously, right? <laughs> <laughs> on the internet, um, Instagram, YouTube, everything at Sweet Potato Soul. My blog is sweetpotatosoul.com. My cookbook is Sweet Potato Soul. You can find that on Amazon or any other bookseller. Yes, get it. Yeah. Anything else coming out? Mm, I don't know. I'm working on some stuff. I haven't been back to YouTube since taking my fraternity leave, mm -hmm. but I will be back soon. So go and subscribe to my YouTube channel because I'm going to have a lot of yeah, she's amazing, you guys. Her food is amazing. Thank I am you. an advocate for that. Thank you. Thank you for being here. And I am Marisa Johnson. She is Marisa J on Instagram. And this is Mav. He did it's so Mav. good today. You did yeah, good, Mav, bub. Mav, huh? You did. You, you did that. He's so <laughs> sleepy. My poor baby is tired. He's like, I don't know what's going I'm on. I'm waiting for my nap. Yes. I know. <laughs> we'll see you guys later right here. Mommy needs a break. Yeah.